Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe JCL Practical Tutorial 6. So, in this video, I would like to share about uh, how do we work with the COBOL. And uh, in this, I would uh, show you the importance uh, to start uh, start working with the COBOL programs. Uh, the various step I would be working on this is I will be writing a simple COBOL program then how do we compile a COBOL program and step 3 is run a COBOL program and see the results practically by connecting to the mainframe terminal so without wasting a minute so let's go ahead and start with this uh, write a simple COBOL program so connected to mainframe terminal so this is my simple COBOL program so I have covered all the basics about the COBOL program so what are the what is area A and what is area B? What is identification division, uh, program divisions, and various sections about this COBOL program? So you can watch my uh, basic video. So I have a cha I have a playlist created for my basic videos about the COBOL. So you can watch it. So this is this is completely this video is completely showing practically. So as usual, identification division, program ID, author, environment, data division, working storage section. So I wanted to s uh, display a simple output. So three lines output. So for this, I will be creating three variables. Variable one, two, three, and in procedure division, I'm trying to move. Uh, I'm trying to move the values, three values to this variable one, variable two, and variable three, and trying to display it. Finally, stop run. So this is my simple program. So let's go ahead and compile this. So IGYWCL is the mainframe. I mean IBM provided proc. So where uh, we would be calling this proc and it has various utilities. IBM provided utilities that will compile this program and create the load library for executing our COBOL program. So in this we need to override two things. Uh, one is COBOL dots is in. So where you would be giving your source slip program and uh, if you have any copy book you can just give your copy books or if you don't have any copy book just give it as a dummy so then you can uh, you have to give your uh, path I mean load library path okay once you are done with this settings just go to submit and enter okay yes it's written with maximum written code 0 so you can check it if you have if the load library is created or not so what you will do is you would copy this yes you would copy it go to star 3.4 and paste it okay once you paste it you can browse it yes it has been created the load library load module for your particular program so what is the next step after compiling a program and created a load library next is to run a COBOL program okay in order to run a COBOL program so I have a JCL library to run this yes sort by created no sort by changed yes okay okay so this is my program one. I was uh, my name it as program one, and uh, just you need to use a step lib or to call your load library. So and it will search us for that particular load lib, load lib and uh, uh, load member, and then it will execute it. So just submit it, enter. Oh, ended with zero zero. Just go to spool and search for your program and you can check the messages okay you can go to step uh, if you if you want to see anything if there are any issues or here no nothing no issues step one you can see step one was executed by condition code zero zero by using load library okay just go to see out see that's it you can see the welcome to mainframe online free mainframe tutorials whatever we messages we passed in the COBOL program the same is displayed onto this so if you want to write these data into your file there you can use the file so why in my next coming videos I will be showing you all the diff all kinds of differences how do we handle with the files how to read a file and write it output write the data sets everything I'll be showing practically about uh, these COBOL 
using flat files using vesam files and everything so we have a lot of things to work on this so this is the sum this is like a simple hello world you can consider it as hello world program so if you are perfect with this you can play it so just understand these things just i wanted to recap uh, recap the things like what the steps we have taken we just wrote a simple program for cobalt program and then we have compiled it then we have uh, run a cobalt program and we have seen the results by going to spool that is we have root rooted our results to the spool so this is the simple startup for a cobalt pro uh, for a beginners so i hope this video will be very much helpful uh, to the beginners to understand the various steps uh, if you wanted to uh, if you want to get an alerts of the of my videos getting posted every day so you can kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel well, please like share or comment on my youtube videos thank you so much for watching with these videos have a great and pleasureful day